How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to draw Ariel for you guys, which is another Disney princess. Um, so I'm going to go through all the materials uh, during the video. So uh, stick till the end because it's going to be a lot of fun. So these are the materials I'm going to be using for this uh, drawing. So that's 4H pencil, that's HB, 2B, 4B, and the darkest one is going to be Prismacolor colored pencil. And that's a blender and fine liner. I think I'm going to be using it somewhere. And that's white gel pen. And that's kneaded eraser and that's a normal eraser. I'm also going to be using a tissue paper uh, for blending. So as you can see, I've already drawn a rough sketch. Uh, by using a grid line technique with 4H pencil and now I'm going over it to make it more visible so make sure you don't overdo it because otherwise you're going to lose um, the proportions Always remember that um, you know patience is the key. You have to have a lot of patience to make your drawings pop up. that's from a different angle I'm using another camera from my left hand side just to make it <laughs> look a bit better so by using a 4B pencil um, um, actually drawn a bit uh, of uh, an iris uh, and then I'm going over with uh, the black prism color pencil because that's the darkest I've got people do say that uh, you know 9b or 10b um, are the darkest ones but I don't think so they are still graphite pencils so they can't be as black as the real black colored pencil so I always prefer using uh, black when it comes to the, you know, very dark areas. It just makes your uh, drawing look realistic. I always, uh, you know, start my uh, portraits uh, from the eyes for some reason. I have seen a lot of people, uh, you know, starting from the hair or any um, other features uh, but I always start from the from the eyes so um, the hair I'm drawing with um, 4B uh, 2B and 4B pencils the darkest one is uh, 4B and the light one is uh, 2B and then I went over it uh, with, uh, with the highlights using um, I forgot to tell you, uh, I forgot to mention that I've used a uh, Derwent electric eraser as well for the highlights and as you can see I've, uh, I've, I'm using kneaded eraser as well. So now I'm uh, using a 2B pencil um, for the skin because I didn't want it to go too dark. And then um, I use tissue paper for the, for the blending. 
Tissue paper has that texture which blends really well and it looks like a, a skin texture. And for the smaller areas, uh, I've always, uh, always been using a kneaded eraser because you can you know, mould it uh, in any shape. You can make it small, you can make it big, it's entirely up to you. So as you can see, I've been going over and over with different pencils. Um, uh, the only pencils I've used uh, that I've already mentioned are 4H, uh, 2B, 4B, um, and uh, black Prisma color colored pencils. I think uh, black color pencils are always um, only used for the irises and eyelashes because those are the darkest um, shades I can see in my drawing. So basically the light I'm using is very bright and um, it, it actually shows through the, uh, you know, the texture of the graphite pencil, which is not really good. Even though the, the black Prisma color pencils, uh, pencil that I've used is not as, it's not showing as black as it should. So if, as you can see, finally I'm using an um, electric eraser uh, for the shiny bits on her clothes. So what do you think guys? Isn't it nice? Please tell me in the comments below what do you think about it and let me know what you want me to draw next. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.